not capture all the points of, or parts of the song. Um, for this Rush song, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, it basically ends up being the first string in the eighth fret with your pinky, the eighth fret of the second string with this finger, and your flip off finger is in the eighth fret of the sixth string and the index finger is in the 7th fret of the 5th string. And you strike the 6th, 5th, and 4th string. And then you strike the 1st and 2nd string. Then you strike the open 3rd string. And he does that for quite a while, actually. That is, you bar your index finger across the third fret of all strings, and then uh, I use this finger and bar across the second, third, and fourth string in the fifth fret. And he kind of strikes it three times, like... <laughs> And that, of course, is a A chord, which is the second, third, and fourth string in the second fret. And he does a quick, like, three pull-offs in a row. It's a second string. You pull off from the second fret of the second string to open. Then you pull off from the second fret of the third string to open. Then you pull off from the fourth string, second fret, to open. This next part is probably the most complicated portion and going to be the hardest to teach. In a different area, uh, it's pretty much close note for note, maybe not in the exact place he plays it. But First note is 5th fret of the 4th string, then the 8th fret of the 5th string, then the 7th fret of the 4th string, then back to the 5th fret of the 4th string. So. Then the third string, fourth fret, then back to the seventh fret of the fourth string. So, then the fifth fret of the third string, then back to the 4th fret of the 3rd string, so... Then 7th fret of the 3rd string. So, all together... And then it walks back, it goes... 3rd string, 5th fret, 3rd string, 4th fret, 4th string, 7th fret, 4th string, 4th fret. So. Then that. Sixth fret, 
third string, seventh fret, second string, back to the sixth fret, third string, back to fourth fret, fourth string. Then fourth str fret, fifth string, fourth or second fret, sixth string, back to the fourth fret, fifth string, fourth fret, fourth string. So and then the f the next part is the same but it go it ends a little differently instead of continuing on and doing the that part it goes so he does a vibrato on the fourth fret of the fourth string, fourth fret of the fifth string, second fret of the sixth string. And then back to the fourth fret of the fifth string. And then fourth fret of the fourth string. Just before he goes into the lead part, um, and then he goes back to the A. I won't get into the lead. The next part is the coolest um, as far as a finger exercise and, and practice. C and it's kind of fascinating because you got your finger barred across the top three strings, the fourth, fifth, and sixth, and the fifth fret. Your first note is with your pinky in the eighth fret of the sixth string. And then this finger in the seventh fret of the fifth string. And then the fourth string in the fifth fret 